but actually we didn't expect quite as many people, so I apologize to those of you that have to uh, stand. I'm Margaret Miller, I'm the director of the Institute for Research and Art, which includes the Graphic Studio and the Contemporary Art Museum and the Public Art Program. And I welcome you to this panel for stereo vision. The order of the evening will be as follows. I will make a few acknowledgments and remarks and introduce you to the curator, Isabel Valeria. Dr. Robert Rockin will talk about um, the vintage material that's in the exhibition from his collection. And that will be followed by James Tunick, who will visit you via video conference. Uh, James Tunick is an artist in this exhibition, and uh, maybe you will see him in a moment. I can see him here. And uh, he's been quite sick and was unable to come down for the talk, so we managed his visit virtually, which I think is appropriate. Exhibition. So that's the order of the uh, uh, evening's uh, panel discussion. This exhibition was curated by Isabel Valeria. Isabel graduated from the University of South Florida with a master's degree in art history and went off to Miami where she did an internship with the Rebell Family Foundation. This is Isabel's first exhibition, although she has several other exhibitions as an assistant including uh, uh, The Amazing and the Immutable, which was also an exhibition uh, derived from and stimulated by the Rockin Collection in partnership with the Margulies Collection down in Miami. As a matter of fact, the Margulies Collection has been generous to loan several parts of this exhibition as well. So we're pleased again to bring you vintage material, 19th, early 20th century material, and uh, match it up with contemporary uh, works uh, from a number of vendors. I want to commend Isabel and publicly for this really heroic effort. It started out just being a little summer show, and it has grown into quite a, both conceptually and physically a very intriguing and major exhibition. And it was stimulated by this vintage material that she has been working on with Dr. Robert Drogan. I want to acknowledge also the staff of the museum. Uh, really, that old saying, it takes a village to put one of these on, is absolutely true. And people have been working almost 24-7, building the spaces that you'll go into in a moment, for the video installations, uh, and to get all of this really working uh, technically. So Alexa Pavada is the associate director, and she basically manages the museum operation. Uh, she's assisted by Nikki Billig, and um, both of them handle just a myriad of details having to do with loans, etc., and the organization of the project. Tony Palms is our exhibit designer and worked closely with Isabella to organize the exhibition. And James Roger headed up the crew as the chief preparator to install all of this. Don Fuller designed the announcement card and the catalog, which you, some of you already have in your hand, and we welcome you to pick up and did all the uh, pre-press details of both the announcement card and the publication. Other staff are recognized for their support, including Kristen Soderquist, who will help us with this uh, virtual teleconferencing in a moment, uh, Sarah Howard, Kristen Dufresne, Peter Foe, David Ruder, Shannon Annis, Randall West, Noel Smith, Tom Pruitt, Leslie Brousseau, David Waterman, Amber Cobb, Jordan Starr, and Jordan, I can never do this, but what is it? Um, and uh, Dan Crawford. All of these uh, people have worked on all the many aspects of the exhibition. I would also like to acknowledge the members of the corporate partners of the USF Institute for Research and Art and help their help in funding this. The Levin Good Trust uh, sponsorship also came from Solid Works Corporation, uh, especially specializing in 3D CAD, uh, uh, computer aided design software, audiovisual innovations, who once again lends us all the projectors, a Tampa based company specializing in full service audiovisual products here in the Mobile on WUSF, and the generous support of our community, of a community donor for making stereo vision possible. So, with that, it is my great ple pleasure to introduce to you the lady of the evening. Uh, Isabel Valeria, 